In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the text face portrait effect. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And of course, if you're new here, my name is Rens. I'm a digital artist from the Netherlands. And today I've got an amazing portrait text effect for you. Let me show you how it's done. All right, so we've jumped into Affinity Photo and the first thing that I want to share with you is my document size so that you can actually copy the same settings. So my document size is 2000 pixels width but times 2500 pixels height. And this is a pretty standard um, document size that I personally use. And what I want to do first is I want to create or I want to select the frame text tool, which is right over here. And if you cannot find yours, you probably see the artistic text tool. So click and hold right over there and then select the frame text tool. Um, I have snapping turned on. So I want to snap my cursor to the top left of this um, of my canvas and click and drag all the way to the bottom right. And there we have our nice frame text. Now, because I don't have internet at this moment in time, I'm actually gonna copy and paste the text of um, the, the work that I previously did. So I'm gonna um, open this one. I'm gonna select the text. I'm gonna press Command A to select everything. Press Command C to copy the text and then go right over here in this frame and press Command V. So I've got my text right over here. And that is step one. So now we have a page full of text. And as you can see, this is not a usual font. So if I click right over here, you can see that I've used Avenir Next um, as bold and 24 points. So with this document size, you will get this, let's say, text effect or this text. All right, now, as mentioned before, I don't have internet connection right now. So what I want to do is I actually want to copy and paste my portrait, which I got right over here. So I'm gonna press uh, select the portrait and I'm actually just gonna delete these, um, these adjustment layers. I'm gonna press Command C, go back to my document and press Command V. And there we have got our portrait now. Let's disable this one for now because it wants to make corrections and that's why you see these red little squiggly lines. So I'm going to disable this one and there we have got my uh, our portrait and of course this works for any portrait or any kind of photo. Now, first thing that I want to do to sell this effect is to turn this image into a black and white image. So I'm going to select my portrait and I can actually rename this portrait for now. And what I want to do is go to my adjustment layers, go to vibrance, make sure it's clipped to our portrait layer and then reduce the saturation all the way to zero so that we turn our image into a black and white image. All right. So the next step that I want to do is I want to create a duplicate of my text because I want to keep an original of the text because maybe later in this project, I want to change my text. So I will keep one um, duplicate at the bottom right here. I'm going to select it, press command J and this one, I will drag all the way to the top. I will actually show it this time, but instead of keeping it a frame text tool layer, I want to turn it into a rasterized pixel layer. So I'm going to right click on this layer and click on rasterize and you will see that all these red, uh, red squiggly lines will disappear. And that is because now instead of words, they are just pixels. Hey, real quick, if you enjoy these tutorials, then there are three ways you can support me. One, by liking this video. Two, by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And three, if you want to support me in creating these free tutorials for you, then you can always buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash I am Renzi. And secondly, if you want to follow me on my fan life journey, I've actually created a second channel to not mix my audiences. So if you're interested, then feel very free to subscribe to my other channel, which I'll link down below. Thank you so much. And let's get back into the tutorial. All right. So this already looks pretty cool, but we're definitely not done yet. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to go back into my portrait layer and actually we can disable this um, text layer for now, or let's maybe first rename this text, disable it for now. And what I want to do next is I want to create a Gaussian blur on top of my portrait layer. And that is the preparation of um, creating a displacement map. So let's select the portrait layer. Let's go down here to my live filters. Let's select Gaussian blur and let's increase the radius a whole lot. So maybe to about, 
yeah around 20 pixels i would say maybe 18 is fine and let's cross this off so now we have this yeah let's say very nice blur going on and what i want to do next is i want to create a displacement map but i want to create the displacement map on my text layer so i'm gonna go to my text layer i'm gonna activate it once again and i'm gonna go to my live filters once again scroll down a little bit and click on displace now i want to make sure that i press load map from layers beneath so let's click on that one and what i want to do now is drag either to the left or to the right and what you will see is that the text will let's say morph around her face now this is too extreme because you can see right over here that these words are yeah very distorted so let's go back a little bit and let's do it more subtle so let's say around 180 maybe this looks acceptable so maybe a little bit less so let's go to 164 um, this looks pretty good to me so let's cross this off for now and let's press command zero to zoom out and this already looks pretty cool so now you can actually see that the text is morphing a little bit more around her face so everywhere where there's shadow the words move a little bit to the left and everything where it's brighter the words will move a little bit to the right and that gives this um, yeah creative effect now so far so good the next thing that we can do is we can actually disable the gaussian blur because we're not gonna need it anymore and now we get the sharpness back into her face but we're still not done yet because you can still see um, the background and we don't want to see the background or the original picture we actually only want to see the picture wherever the letters are so next thing that i want to do um, is to clip the portrait layer onto or below actually the text layer so we're gonna click and drag our portrait layer and we're gonna click and drag it to the right and then release it and now you can see that we can only see her face wherever the letters are now this is also a pretty cool effect but there's one more thing that I want to do to enhance this effect even further and that is by creating a black background so there are multiple ways to create the back black background of course you can either create a new pixel layer and fill it with black um, you can create a fill layer right over here so uh, create a new fill layer and fill it with black or another trick is to just create um, a black rectangle on the background so i will create a black rectangle uh, make sure the fill is set to black and simply click and drag across our canvas and there we have the amazing text portrait effect exactly the way i wanted to show you thank you so much for watching my first ever tutorial recorded in my camper i hope you enjoyed it and i hope the sound didn't disturb you too much if you enjoyed this video of course don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and then i'll see you in the next one ciao ciao